Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about visualizing the volume of a solid figures in different situations using non-standard and standard units. What is a non-standard unit of measure? Non-standard units do not give the same measure of volume for the same container. These are some of the examples of non-standard units. We have balls, marbles, and beans. When the non-standard unit used is bigger, just like the balls inside in this container, fewer units are needed to fill the container. But, when an unstandard unit use is small, just like these beans, more units are needed to fill a container. Thus, non-standard units do not give a consistent and accurate measurement of the volume of a container. What is a standard unit of measure? A standard is something that has been precisely defined and accepted by a large group of people. Hence, a standard unit of measure is a unit that has been established and accepted all over the world. Before we're going to visualize the volume of a cube and a rectangular prism, let us study first about dimension or dimensions. This is a line segment. It consists of one dimension, which is the length. To measure this line segment, we measure its length. For example, the length of this line segment is one unit. If we're going to add another dimension, it looks like this. This is a square. It consists of two dimensions, the length and the width. For example, the length is one unit and also the width is one unit because this is a square. As we all know that, a square is a special kind of a rectangle which there are four sides equal. What do we call the number of square units in a region. Yes, you are right. We call it an area. Area is the number of square units in a region. Since a square has the same length and width, thus area is equal to side times side. So, the length is one unit and the width is also one unit. So let's find the product. One unit times one unit is equal to one square unit. Therefore, the area of this square is one square unit. If we're going to add another dimension to a square, which is the height, then it becomes a solid figure that looks like this. This is a cube. It consists of three dimensions, namely the length, the width, and the height. As you can see, the measurements of the length, the width, and the height are equal. It is because this is a cube and all the sides of a cube are equal. What do we call the number of cubic units in an object? Yes, you are right. We called it a volume. When we say volume, it is the number of cubic units in an object. Since the cube has the same length, width, and height, thus volume is equal to side times side times side. Let's substitute the value of each side. One unit times one unit times one unit. Therefore, the volume of this cube is 
one cubic unit. Look at the Rubik's Cube. How many rows are there? Yes, you are right. It has three rows. How many columns are there? Very good. It has three columns. What is the height of this Rubik's Cube? Alright, the height is three units. Thus, to find the volume, we're going to use this formula. Volume is equal to side times side times side. So, three units times three units times three units. Therefore, the volume of this cube is 27 cubic units. This is the way how we're going to get the volume of a cube. This is a rectangle. How many dimensions are there? Yes, you are right. There are two dimensions. What are the two dimensions of a rectangle? Very good. The length and the width. For example, the length is 4 units and a width of 3 units. To find the area of this rectangle, we're going to use this formula. Area is equal to length times width. So, the length is 4 units and the width is 3 units. Let's find the product. 4 units times 3 units is equal to 12 square units. This is the area of this rectangle. If you're going to add one dimension to a rectangle, which is the height, the result is a rectangular prism. This is a rectangular prism. It consists of three dimensions, namely the length, the width, and the height. To find the volume of this rectangular prism, we're going to find the number of cubic units in an object. Thus, volume is equal to length times width times height. In this example, the length is 4 units. The width is 3 units and the height of 2 units. So, let's find the product. 4 units times 3 units is equal to 12 square units times 2 units. The volume is equal to 24 cubic units. The unit of measurement for volume is cubic units unit. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.